Uh, Councillor Nicky Purse, a couple of weeks ago in Old Harrow, and now where, um, can you describe exactly where we are and what you are doing? Well, this area has always been known as the Harlow Helipad, so obviously we're opposite the Walsh Gardens. Um, today we're actually uh, planting 800 trees, um, a part of the, the planting programme that we've got, um, and that's going to be supported through the new budget where we've allocated 250,000 for tree planting for the coming years. So these are all going to be planted and maintained. The budget is there to maintain them. But it's 800 trees now being planted. Oh, um this has always been a wood, there's nets of woods to your plantations over there, there's a little little grow copse there. Why, why are you having trees here? Couldn't it not just still be green? In the, in the, in our, the plan is to actually have most of the trees actually um, being planted next to existing woodlands or where areas that we need them, so like in East Park when we did that, which would be, form a sound barrier. But over here, it's a case of we put it onto the, the actual woodlands that we've already got, and obviously we still have the green space left over for people to, to use in the summer um, and still have the helipad there. There's still sufficient room for the helipad. Um, but in terms of bolting it onto existing woods, so we're not actually planting up in estates and things like that. It has more biodiversity to actually bolt it onto the existing woods. And this is all part of your brief or your mission um, because you've also been going around from estate to estate, haven't you? So how's that going? So the estate to estate audits are looking at the standards after the winter programme. So what we're actually doing is once um, HTS go in, I then go in afterwards and check the level of work and it's coming up to the expectations of the residents, not my expectations, what the expectations of the residents, which they're fed back um, actually on social media, on Facebook, um, but we're actually looking at what it looks like after they've been in there and then we pick up extra work and obviously now we've actually got a um, COVID support team so we've actually got like a task force team going in afterwards um, and actually picking up any jobs that I pick out and there is quite a few areas that we've been in so far but when the winter programme finishes in around about the second week in March um, we should have we still be in audit, audits being done but we will pick up any um, things that are not up to the standard. Is this a one year thing only or can, will we see you know see the Conservative and Harlow Council do this in future years? Yes the plan is the actual plan is to actually carry this on so in terms of it, it won't be me carrying it on but in the future there will be we might go back to our old um, ways that we had where we had officers going round and actually checking the actual work is actually to the, the standards it needs to be um, and they will be through their the, the winter program the summer program so we're looking at having officers um, um, and I'm trying to think of the old the words that we had many years ago when it was the council um, but we would have somebody who would actually go around and inspect them after they've done so they've, it's come up to the expectations of the residents. Do you enjoy doing this? Love it, absolutely love it. It's something I've always done for many years has been involved with here, the environment and the community so community work is a part of what I do um, and the environment as well and the well-being that the environment brings you as well.